What's going on? Benji Kaiser here today talking about the best graphic design computer or laptop specs to make sure you have the power and the ability to complete those projects that you're working on. So I have three things I focus on when I'm recommending computers and specs to people, and that is RAM, processor, and hard drive. Now before we jump into the content, if you've yet to subscribe to this channel, I highly recommend doing so. I put out daily videos helping you within the graphic design industry. And if you have any questions, please comment below. I wanna make videos that help you out. All right, so let's start with RAM. You wanna make sure you have at least eight gigs of RAM. I personally recommend no less than 16. Why is RAM important? RAM is important is because that is where all your software, as where all your applications, Adobe Creative Cloud, which is InDesign, Photoshop, and Illustrator, that's where they're running. They use RAM memory in order to run. So the more RAM you have, the more efficient your computer can run multiple programs at the same time. If you have eight gigs of RAM, which is totally doable, most Macs have eight gigs of RAM. The only issue you run into is you may not be able to run all of your programs at the same time for the maximum speed that you're looking to achieve. So that's a basic breakdown of RAM. All right, number two is the processor. I recommend the i7 processor. It's not exactly the latest i9, nor is it the i5. It's the nice in between. It's the power that you need to be working on graphic design projects. It even helps if you're getting into some light video editing. The i5 is, is well. Most Macs run an i5, but I personally run the i7 on my Dell XPS 15, and it's a fantastic processor that gives me the speed I need. Think about it as the brain. It's the one that's thinking through all the decisions. It's opening the applications, it's closing them, it's saving them, it's running all of the hardware within your computer. That's what the processor does. So processor is fairly simple, pretty straightforward. I recommend the i7. You can get away with the i5, but personally, I wanna be up to date on technology. And as we're going through this, I have a few recommendations on the computers. You can check those out in the links below this video. Those are affiliate links and they do help out this channel when you purchase that. It gives me a small commission at no extra cost to you helps keep these videos coming out to help you guys out with what you're doing in the graphic design industry. Also, if you're curious about entire videos that I dedicate to the best graphic design laptops, the best budget laptops, the best computers, you can check those out in the links above as well as the description below. Hard drive, this is where all your information is gonna be stored. This is where all your files are gonna be saved. This is what you don't want to fail. When I was in school for graphic design, I saw some students' computers crash, their hard drives, just went out and the teachers were not sympathetic. They didn't have their project on Monday morning and they received an F. So you do not want your computer to crash. I recommend a solid state hard drive because there's no moving parts. So the difference between a solid state hard drive and an SATA hard drive is the moving parts. Think of a solid state hard drive like a really big thumb drive. Whereas the SATA has moving parts and it's how it saves and overwrites, etc. Less moving parts has less ability to die. Less moving parts also means it saves and runs your programs faster. So it's gonna be a faster boot up, it's gonna be a faster computer overall. So that's the benefit of a solid state hard drive. They're a little more expensive, but the benefits weigh out the expense of that. So I hope all this information has helped you get a grasp on the best graphic design specs and the ones that I find very important to have in your computer. If you have any more questions, like I said earlier, please comment below. I wanna make videos that are truly helpful to you. I'm Benji Kaiser of BenjiKaiser.com and I will see you here on the next episode. Oh yeah, and don't forget to like and subscribe and do all that stuff. You don't wanna miss out on anything coming. All right, later.